Which pastry you've seen? Foiled again. I, I'd say foiled again is one of the, mm -hmm. one of the top ranked uh, ace pastries. I mean, my memory's not really good. So, like, you got, you, you'd have to go with a horse like foiled again. As, you know, he's a really tough horse. He's not a big, overpowering horse. He just looks like a nice horse that comes to play every week. And when the money's up, he seems to be extremely good. He doesn't have to take his racetrack with him. He can go over a half. He can go over a mile. He can go over seven eighths, whatever the track is, or whatever the conditions are. As long as the money's there and he gets any kind of a trip at all, and he doesn't need a trip most nights. Um, I would say he's he's got to be right up there. When Sark Jester was at the top of his game, he was I mean, he was. He was great, and you know what? Watching better than Cheddar right now, he's he's got a great career ahead of him too, uh, being only four, and he's he's been very impressive this year. Uh, better than Cheddar. Best age pacer, I think. Uh, I would have to say that I followed was Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was a tremendous horse in, at the Meadowlands years ago. J.D.'s buck, I think, was second to him like 13 times, and he was a great horse. Um, he, he dominated all year. And I've seen them get good for a while, but that horse was good for a long time. Probably Art's place in this four-year-old year, going undefeated. I used to love watching Airbus Express race. Uh, I used to go to the track at PEI and watch him race all the time. He was. Uh, it's pretty special the way he did it, like uh, they get halfway by him and he'd always come back on. Like he, he was a pretty special horse. I'd have to say that the toughest is the gladiator. Great gladiator. He was week in, week out, you couldn't find a much tougher horse than that. Over my lifetime I would say Cam Fella. I'm gonna say Cam Fella. Cam Fella. Recently I'd have to say Big Time Ball. I just like the way he just keeps coming back and just keeps performing at, uh, at the at the top ranks. Escape the wind. He was pretty uh, consistent year after year. The best age pacer I've ever seen would have to be um, well before his time uh, before foiled again, but uh, Maltese artist. He was an unbelievable warhorse, um, and uh, he was he was an amazing animal. I would say he was you know even before him he uh, even before. Uh, Foiled again. I would say foiled again probably right now, but um, definitely uh, Maltese artist maybe ever. Foiled again is the best age pacer I've seen in a long time. I mean, he is so tough. It's unbelievable to see week in and week out when that horse, what that horse can do. I've seen faster horses, but uh, as far as toughness, I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, definitely foiled again. I don't know. Mr. Big was a very good horse for a lot of years, you know, and uh, um, to race at that caliber as long as he did. I, between him and Gallo, Gallo was a very good horse too. Um, I, I, you know, I, they're probably even horses. They were, they were dominant horses for more than one year, which is big, makes a big difference. Probably Gallo Blue Chip. Best age pacer. Um, well, there's some old timers like Rambling Willie. I was maybe a bit too young to appreciate him. Um, Obviously, Gallo Blue Chip, Mr. Big were very, very durable horses. Foiled Again is a very durable horse. Um, you know, I, I, I have to put those three right up there. These are so many around, but uh, Foiled Again is definitely one of the toughest. Foiled Again won the West, and kind of like won the West not so much, but isn't anymore. But Foiled Again still going tough, so he's probably the toughest one I've seen.